I am feeling awesome today. And guess what? We're going to talk about an herb that I think is really, really awesome. It's probably in my top three. It comes to us from traditional Chinese medicine, the original use. Uh, it's called, well, it, uh, there's many names for it, but what it's most known for is uh, the name Hishu Wu. Hishu Wu translates from Chinese roughly to the black-haired Mr. He. And the legend behind this marvelous plant goes that a gentleman thousands of years ago was having trouble with uh, his hair going prematurely gray, hair falling out, uh, erectile dysfunction, and he was just, he was basically impotent and he started to make tea from this particular root and he drank it day in and day out and supposedly his hair went back to jet black and he was able to foster or he was able to have somewhere in the area of 17 kids depending upon what version of the story you hear uh yeah who knows all i do know is that it tastes great it makes me feel good and it's really safe so we'll get to talking about it uh now hishu wu the botanical name for it is Polygonum multiflorum. Uh, you will oftentimes hear of it, especially in the West, referred to as Foti or Foti, and that's spelled F-O-T-I. Now, according to David Winston and Ron Teagarden, two people who definitely know their stuff when it comes to uh, adaptogenic and three treasure herbs, they both say they have no idea where the term foti came from, uh, so I just choose not to use it. I either just call it Hishu Wu or by its botanical name. So, what this is, I'll go ahead and show it to you. This is the root here. Now, it can come in comes in generally two different forms. I guess technically you could probably find powdered hishu, although I've never really sought it out. But what it is, it can come in chunks like that. I've also seen it this style, but in like really, really big chunks and about that thick. And then you can also get it chopped like so, which is, um, both of them are actually pretty nice. This particular batch, this company I got it from, stuff is just like, it almost has like a malty sweetness smell to it and it's really awesome. Now, what this is, is the reason that it's jet black like this is th this root is what is called prepared, uh, or it's been prepared rather. So what they do is the, they take the root because when it comes out of the ground, it does not look like that. So they, um, they will take a concoction of rice vinegar and like a watered down bean, black bean paste, and it is boiled in that. And what it does is that removes a chemical compound called an anthraquinone. Uh, an anthraquinone, uh, they tend to have a laxative effect. So two plants that have a large quantity of anthraquinones are uh, senna, and actually to a lesser degree, we could say aloe. It just has that more of a vigorous moving property, we'll say. So this, uh, when the Hishu Wu is prepared, uh, what it does is it removes those, so it eliminates that laxative effect. It can have a slightly laxative effect if somebody's really sensitive, but it's not incredibly common. And if you choose to start experimenting with this stuff, just start low and see how uh, you feel when you use it. Now, there's a few important things that uh, with this particular stuff, I'll show you, that's some boiling it up right now. That's what it starts to look like, it gets dark. Now. Very important thing with Hishu Wu is when you make it, you want to do you want to do it in a glass pot. You do not want to use metal because of some of the uh, compounds in the plant. It does have the ability to draw metals out, and the last thing any of us really need is more uh, heavy metals in our lives. So, now a second important feature, and this goes for uh, not all, but many. Uh, many plants that you're going to uh, decoct. This is referred to as a decoction where you're actually boiling for a set amount of time whereas a lot of teas are made via infusion when you just pour hot water over the plant and you let it do its thing. So this decoction, whenever you are decocting something like this, what you want to do is start out with cool water and then you put the the plant in there right from the get go because what happens is if you take the um, if you take your herb and you throw it in the already boiling water if you can just imagine in your mind 
it more or less sears it like you would if somebody took say a steak and they throw it on a pan and they sear it on both sides what it does is it locks a lot of the uh, the compounds inside the plant and it doesn't yield a very good product so now with uh hishu Wu, as i said it's very safe uh the only contraindications i've ever seen with it is that if somebody's on statin drugs uh taking tetracycline or if you're on if you're taking consistent amounts of acetaminophen which over here in the United States is referred to as Tylenol. Uh, so as long as you don't fall into those categories, you should be rocking and rolling. And uh, traditionally, it was used to nourish the kidneys, uh, which in Chinese medicine, we won't go too deep into it, but kidneys also uh, entails the adrenal glands. And it was also uh, known for, as I already said, the hair growth and allowing the uh, the hair to get darker and one of the reasons for that is uh, one of the potential reasons for it because there's so plant chemistry is so cool and complex but um, with Hishu Wu there's a large quantity of both magnesium and zinc in it and that can actually help as a uh, if you're a little bit deficient in that, those arenas it can make you uh, a little bit sleepy uh, with myself for instance I used to take it right before I went to sleep and uh, at that time I feel as though I was a bit deficient so that allowed me just to uh, drift off a little bit it doesn't have any sedating effects because if you if anybody who's ever supplemented with uh, say magnesium you know just sometimes you kind of feel relaxed afterwards but if you do have sufficient quantity in your life then you should be all good but uh, anyways, yeah, so lastly, with uh, making a quick decoction of that, what you do is you take about uh, one to two teaspoons, you put it in the cold water, you start it, you bring it up to a boil, and then you lower it to a simmer. Let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes, capped, and then shut it off and let it sit for about another 40 minutes and then strain it and then drink it. And usually, like, if you look at uh, any of the literature on it, it usually says to drink, you know, four ounces up to three times a day. So if you want a dosing, that's the general dosing. Me, I always would just have a mug of it at night right before I went to sleep. That's the time when I feel most drawn to it. Anyways, so that's that. I'll talk to you guys later. Like, share, comment, subscribe.